Hey everyone, on this video I'm going to cover the difference between work templates, which are also known as calendar templates, and individual work hours set for users. So what's the difference then? Well, I'm glad you asked. So work templates slash calendar templates are set for a project. And what they do is they define, you know, if you're working from Monday to Friday or from Monday to Saturday, if you use business closures and kind of what the default length of your day is. Is it six hours, seven hours, eight hours or what? Now, individual work hours define how long a resource or, or slash a user will actually work on a task. So if my work hours are from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., I'll only work three hours. So let's jump in the system and see what the setup here is. So I'm on my active bookable resources. And what I have here is something called a generic resource. And I've set the work hours for this generic resource from 9 a.m. to 5, to 5 p.m. And we can double check that by, op by opening up the bookable resource record and clicking on show work hours. We can see that the work hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So if we look at another resource, if we look at Roger Wilco, we'll see that Roger Wilco's work hours have been set from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. So Roger only works three hours a day. And Roger, Roger's not a generic user. He's actually a living and breathing individual. So he is a person that will assign on a task on a project. Now, if we look at our work templates, we can see that we have a work template from for 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and that template uses that generic resource as a template resource. So how does this look in project then? So let's hop over and create a new project. Let's give it a sec to load. And let's set a name. And let's set a start date for the 12th. Now, under calendar, what we'll do is we'll choose 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right, so let's create our first task. Our first task is for a duration of eight hours. Let's add some columns here. So our start and finish is on the 12th. All right, so if I change this duration to nine hours, you'll see that the finish date bounces to the 13th. And that's because the work template that we defined for this project has work hours from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So that's eight hours a day. So if we change this to nine, it bounces to 13. If we bring this back to eight hours, the finish date will bounce back to, to the 12th. All right, so let's do another another task. And on that task, let's assign Roger Wilco on that task. And what we'll do is we'll set the start date for, let's set that for the 13th. And the end date for the 13th as well. And let's set this to two, not days, but two hours. So Roger Wilco's work hours were from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., so three hours. So now that the task duration is two hours, the start and finish date will be on the 13th. If I change this to three, the finish date will still be... Oh, we have a bit of a hiccup here, so let's clear those. So let me set this again to two hours, and let's set this for, let's keep it on the 12th. All right, here we go. So as we had Roger's, uh, R Roger's work hours through three days, three hours from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., when we're on, when we set a duration for two hours, start and finish date will be the 12th. If we set Roger's day for three hours, it'll still be on the 12th, right? Now, if we move this to four, what happens is the finish date will bounce to the 13th. And kind of bringing this back to three hours again, 
it'll bring the finish date back to the 12th. All right, so kind of short summary. So we have two different variables that really, you know, affect the work hours in, in, in as a whole. We have those work templates, also known as calendar templates, which define the structure for the project as a whole. And then we have work hours for individual users slash resources, and those define the amount of hours that a resource will, will work on a task. So if Roger Wilco is a part-time employee he, and only has work hours three hours, we can really define this per task as opposed to how it is, for example, in PSA today, where we only have a work template for the whole project. And if you want to watch more content about this, there are two good sessions from the 2019 Ignite by both Russell Hercules and Heather Heidi around this topic. With that said, I wish you enjoyed the video and have a good one.